I'm going to show you here how to operate a John Deere 410 backhoe. Also, we'll give you some tips and pointers on how to dig, also and how to do trenches. Here are your controls. Ah, uh, this is a joystick control because you have different motions there. These short levers here, those are your outriggers. That's one on the right. You see, I one of them. Put it all the way down. You pick your machine up, and here's the other one. The machine's at idle, so it doesn't have the strongest hydraulics right now. Then your right stick here, your right joystick, if you push it forward, the stick is going to go out, you pull it back towards you, and it's going to come back towards you. If you move this to the right, your bucket will dump. If you move it back to the left, your bucket will close. This stick here on the left, if you push it out away from you, the main boom comes down, you pull it back, it comes back up towards you, and you move to the left, and it swings left, you move to the right, it swings back right. It takes a little while to uh, get used to these controls uh, on how they move. Your best bet is when you first learn how to uh, use a backhoe or an excavator is uh, don't run the engine at full speed. Just run it a little bit slower and get the idea on how it works and get smoother at running the uh, controls. I learned how to use a backhoe on my little uh, 20 horse Kubota and it takes a little time. My uh, little back on the Kubota, it's not joystick control. It has six levers sticking up. And uh, it takes a little more to get used to running each lever. I really come to like the uh, joystick setup here. So, let me place the camera here to where you can see on the what I'm doing here at the controls. Okay. I'm going to extend out here. I'm going to throw it up a little. Now dig. You just set the bucket down about like that. Get some weight on it and roll the bucket in at an angle. You want to pull back and continue cooling your bucket as you come back. And you want to pick up on your main boom while you're digging back. Just repeat that process. Roll back and lightly pick up. Roll your bucket. Just about like that. You get to the point after a while, you don't even notice what you're doing. You don't even hardly think about the controls. again you just extend out set your bucket down about like that put down a little weight roll your bucket backwards while pulling in the stick lightly look raise up on the boom continue picking up and then roll back 
and then take it out. Kind of square up my hole. Once you get down to whatever depth you're wanting to dig down to, and if you're digging a trench, once you get your trench dug down to the correct depth, you don't want to start at the bottom of your trench like this and try digging back. It is too hard to know on how deep you're actually digging. You're going to get a trench either too deep or too shallow, and it's not going to be consistent. Your best bet is to come up here higher and just continue digging back. Just dig back like that. And then come in and dig again a little lower. A lot smoother digging if my cylinders weren't worn out. Then to save time on moving along on your trench, instead of turning around in your seat and driving, you can just pick yourself up and just move yourself backwards using the hoe. Reset your outriggers, put down your loader bucket, it's not just your outriggers to stabilize you, your loader your holding up the front end helps a lot, makes the machine a lot more stable and doesn't bounce around as much, you don't get as much of that rocking motion. I'm aware that this isn't the fastest digging, but uh, I'm only running the machine just over an idle. I'm afraid if I draw them up too much, you won't be able to hear me. I don't know if you can hear me as it is.
pick up my loader. I'm gonna move myself back some more. Pick myself back up with the outriggers. You want to make sure when you push yourself backwards, you want to make sure you don't move yourself too far back. We can't clean up your trench with some dust falling back in further up. Because there's always going to be more falling in. So much rain, I'm kind of surprised at how hard and dry this top of the stewart is. But I guess it's been like a week since we got any rain, so it's been so hot lately, it doesn't take long for it to start drying up. I know today we're like 97 degrees. With the humidity, they're up to like 55%. That makes the feel like temperature 107 degrees today. Which is pretty hot. Especially the heater stuck on in this old machine. Uh, blower fans turned off but still the heater core in here is getting hot just a little bit added a little added extra heat that I don't need I believe this is going to do it here for this video. Uh, I'm uh, interested to see on what you guys think of my microphone setup here in my pocket. It's a microphone, not a big rat. Yeah, I'm hoping it's going to cut down a lot of uh, wind noises and uh, hopefully the machine isn't so loud you can't hear me. But that may be a perk if you can't hear me. As always, like and leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. It helps out a lot. And uh, uh, check me out on Instagram. I've been trying to post on there, but usually I've been forgetting. But I'm trying to trying to get better at posting on there. So I post some stuff on there that I normally don't put in my videos. So it's something a little bit different. I have uh, lots more videos coming up here. Also be sure to check out my old videos. I guess I'm going to go ahead, fill back in my trench, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Like always, thanks for watching.